you see can you see like koi competition nahi hai iske aage you won't regret buying this one trust me khareed ke dekho fan ho jaoge hello guys i hope you guys are doing well so welcome to my youtube channel so welcome to another episode of vyadi taiyariya series i hope you guys are enjoying this series plus i hope you have checked all the previous episodes if not i will link it in the description so yes today's video will be all about a makeup kit for all your brides to be like i know every bride to be in need to arrange a makeup kit for her chuzo so yes let's get started i will be showing you one to two items in each category you can change up according to your preference if you want to buy something else like you have been loving so go for that only i will be giving you like a list sort of uh, a video ki okay you can buy these these products for your easiness so yes without wasting any more time we should get into the video okay so the first step is primer primer is something very very important that people tend to miss but i don't want you brides to be to miss that because i know you will be having a lot of functions after your wedding as well you need that makeup to be tacked on for longer period of time so primers will save you in that case and primers will help to just you know build like a pretty canvas for your skin so yes three primer options i have for you guys the first one has to be a pore primer if you have like oily or combination skin type you have that pore issue i have that pore issue and pucho mat bhai so the first primer is the studio perfect photo loving primer from nyx cosmetics uh, i recently discovered this and the body really love it you can take any pore primer even uh, the maybelline baby skin one is very good though it's not available in india um a um, miss clear one is very good i really like that i have heard some really good things about color bar one as well but haven't tried that but i have tried this one and love 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 this one so the second primer is like one of my favorite primers of all time is this becca backlight priming filter i have the travel size one and i literally don't use this now because only it does a left and i don't want and uh, i'm not going somewhere to me khareed bhi lu but uh, yes this is so good like it leaves your skin so flawless and that illuminating thing um underneath your foundation and that looks so so good and who doesn't want that right so if you are someone who lives lives by glow i would highly recommend you to just try this one a very similar primer i found is from body glow it's their body prime time cc primer radiance booster i recently got my hands on this one but i have been really really loving this one have used 6 7 times till now and i really like this one like it has that illuminate effect plus it has spf as well so that will help you to protect from the sun so yes yeah, been really really loving these three primers and i think are best for all brides to be or in general if you are just making your kit or have no knowledge of zero knowledge about makeup and you are here for some makeup knowledge and this is the correct video so yes these are the three primers that i would highly highly recommend to you if you're bright to be the two foundations that i would recommend um i won't really recommend you bb creams previously i was like huge fan of bb creams i do apply bb creams now as well but not that much that uh, I just swear by and recommend to you guys. I have recommended BB creams to you guys. I really like the Pond's Derma one, but I no longer use that. If you know me, I'm not like a full full coverage person. Um, if I want to go with like a subtle finish, I would rather take like a little bump of my foundation and blend it in my skin, and it looks super natural. So, कोई ज़रूरत नहीं लगती मुझे BB cream extra खरीदने की. So, it has been so long that I haven't used BB cream. So, yes, that's why. I will include it that but if you are a sort of person who likes to apply bb cream then you can do that but i think foundation does the same job if you are applying it in the less quantity so the first foundation i have is from l'oreal it's their true match super blendable foundation it's very very similar to the fit me foundation i love fit me foundation but maine wo har video mein dikhaya to maine kaha thoda change karti hu and this is the texture the feel the finish is very similar to the fit me so i would highly recommend you to go with this one and if you have used the fit me then you will definitely love this one if you have loved the fit me so yeah 
and one I would highly recommend you full coverage foundation because full coverage foundations are your saviors when your skin is feeling bad and you want to attend weddings functions and whatnot and this is from Maybelline it's their superstay foundation I love this one though the texture feels a little heavy and if you are oily you would love this it's like matte foundation and it has a pump though fit be aim out with pump I'm so excited to buy that one um मेरी खुशी का कुछ वही नहीं है but um, I'm just about to finish my Fit Me one and I will definitely buy the Pump one. So yes, this was that and I love these foundation. I swear by these foundation. If you are like a uh, dry skin people, I would highly recommend you the Laurel one and if you are like oily one, I would highly recommend you the Maybelline Super Matte one and if you are like combination one like me, I would recommend you both because. Uh, on uh, some essay wale occasions where you can apply this and on some really nice occasions you can apply this so you have a choice so yes these are the two foundations that i would highly highly recommend to you guys for concealer i would highly recommend you this uh, revolution makeup revolution conceal and define this is how it looks like it is said to be the perfect dupe for the tart shape tape though haven't got my hands on shape tape since now but uh, yeah i been really loving this one the doe foot applicator is super super large and it is like full full coverage it covers all your blemishes all your dark circles all that sleepless nights so yes this is like a a very good gem in the drug store i think and i would highly recommend if you are finding like medium coverage concealer i would highly 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 recommend the fit me one i just ran out of my fit me one and i am planning to get my hands again because that's like a savior for me and this one as well so i would highly recommend you this one as well now it's time to set your face um i'm not like a person who carry or uses compact powders i don't know i am not and uh, i do have compacts i really occasionally use them and but i really don't like to so i would not recommend i'm not like the correct person to ask like which compact is good so i literally swear by loose powders i use loose powders on everyday basis as well if i'm doing makeup i don't go in with the compact powders and all that stuff um so the first powder i would highly recommend you to go for transparent one okay so i have this rcm in no color powder this is how it looks like and i would highly recommend you to go for like a transparent powder as well as the colored powder um you can even get the nyx hd finishing powder in the shade translucent or transparent i have used that i have loved that finished up that so the next one i have is fit me loose powder everyone swears by this powder i think this powder is something a gem a gem a gem you should definitely get your hands on this one because this powder is something we should all have in our vanity this is something very very amazing and i literally swear by this powder so yeah now after that it's time for your blushes contours slash bronzers and your highlighters for blushes i have like two blushes for you guys so the first blush i have is this wet n wild color icon blush in the shade apricot in the middle i have applied this one it has like a little um golden reflex as well into this and this is how the powder looks like and i love this one and if you are like someone who doesn't like to apply highlighters i think this will do the job let's a little extra blush and you are sorted i think so i have been really really loving this one and that's why i wanted to recommend and you because uh, bright to be is all about glitters right so yeah i really think that you should definitely get your hands on this one and you can definitely find it on discount i bought this for 149 rupees on hawk makeup so you can try the luck as well <laughs> so yeah and the next blush that i have is from maybelline it's their master flush stick they have like three shades but i have i think peach babe or coral babe yeah it's peach babe and uh, though it doesn't look like peach it looks like pink to be honest like can you see it looks like pink but it's like a very good natural looking blush like when you apply it over here it looks like super ready and i love that uh, texture on my skin so yeah i would highly recommend this one if you are some sort of person who likes to apply cream products onto your face more so yes i would highly recommend this one and for contours and slash bronzers i have like both high end things because i literally swear by these The first thing is this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I swear by this. I swear by this. Literally, um, 
this is the proof that I literally swear by this. This bronzing powder is so natural that I cannot tell you. It looks so natural onto your skin. And if you like that uh, like subtle uh, bronzing effect onto your skin and it looks super good when it's coming over here onto your jawline onto your nose and that looks super super gorgeous and uh, i think if you are like not into contours slash bronzing you will love this one because it's not that harsh so yes you can definitely get your hands on this one and the second one is from Natio, Natio, whatever they pronounce their name. It's their contour palette and it consists of two bronzing slash contour powders and one highlighter. It's like a little dark and it's like a little light. When I want like a proper heavy contouring, I do like to mix both of them. And when I'm going with like um, a very light bronzy effect, I literally go with this one and I'm sorted. And the highlighter shade is very gorgeous, like very gorgeous and it's like an investment I think um, the swatch is not like can you see it has like a golden silver reflex into it and that looks super super gorgeous so yeah this was the second thing that I would highly highly recommend you guys then for the highlighters I would have I have like one drugstore and one high-end so this one is the wet n wild highlighting powder this is perfect for the girls who don't want to apply like do their highlighter over but I am sort of person who likes to do my highlighter over but uh, yes this is how it looks like and it's in the shade precious petals and if you have seen my um, makeup tutorials on Instagram or something like that I use this highlighter all the time especially in the daytime because it's so subtle and it looks so gorgeous in the daytime especially so yes perfect for that and after that a highlighter of my dreams is this Becca champagne pop it's literally made of my dreams this is broken I want to get my hands on a new one I seriously want to get my hands on a new one I don't know I really like the fresh highlighter feeling my brother broke it and it's it's not how many times it's broken I'm rubbing alcohol laga, laga ke chala rahi usko. but oh my god can you see it's blinding you won't regret buying this one. Trust me, fans okay. Okay, moving ahead to setting sprays, which is very very important, and you need to get your hands on setting sprays. The first one is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this, I swear by this, I'm almost over. If you cannot get your hands on the Morphe one, you should definitely get your hands on the pack one, like very similar. Everything is same to same, ditto copy. So you can definitely get your hands. It sets your face so nicely. Just it, your face looks super super dewy. So I would highly recommend this one. And I've been really really loving this one as well. Elf dewy setting mist in the variant coconut. Been loving 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 this one. This sets my face like so well. Um, my makeup stays like super tagged throughout the day. I only carried this one in on my Dubai trip, and my makeup was like all sorted. So yes, I would highly recommend this one. Okay, now moving ahead to eyes. The first thing is liners which are very very important and I only swear by liquid liners. I don't go in pen liners because I think that's like waste of money and they dry up so quickly. So the first liner that if you ever get your hands on this, I would highly recommend you to grab it a sack. It's the Essence Liquid Ink Liner. It's almost out of stock every time. So yes, I really, really like this one. If you ever get your hands on this, please go get it. And the second one is the Elf one. I love this one. This one is like pretty amazing. They both are like matte finishes. I am into like matte finishes liner. It's very rare that I go for like glossy finish liners, but it just depends. Yeah, it just depends. After that, I have like two kajals. I have this Nika I Am Black Kajal. This one is like super, super smooth. It glides onto your waterline like so smoothly, but it do takes time like one minute at least to set down. Nahito, it will smudge and you don't want that. But if you are someone like that, ki ek minute bhi wait nahi hota, to Plum Nature Studio One is superbly good. Um, this is like my second pencil and I'm almost over with this one. This, these are the two kajals I literally, literally swear by. And these are like jet black. It stays onto place for longer, longer period of time. 
Two mascaras that I have for you guys is the first one is the uh, L'Oreal Falls Lash Superstar Mascara. This one is superbly good. It has like a primer and a mascara as well as so it's like a two-in-one product and the primer really helps in just you know lengthening voluminizing your lashes and the second one is Too Faced Better Than Love Mascara which is like better than sex but this one is from I think Abu Dhabi or some Saudi Arabia origin like from where I got this um, to Mahabe they changed the sex word to love so the story behind the love thing so yes I love love this one and I really think that these mascaras are to die for especially the phased one this one is superbly amazing so if you ever can get your hands on this one you should definitely and I have like a brow product as well that I literally swear by it's from Bella Voste and uh, you can see that I'm almost over with this one I love this one this one is superbly good and uh, if you're like a beginner and it doesn't know how to fill up your brows this one will be perfect as uh, it's perfect for the beginners basically and uh, yeah I like it I love it I everything so yeah Okay, after that, moving ahead to eyeshadow palette, I have no options for you guys because I think this is the perfect eyeshadow palette every bride to be should have. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. It's like a permanent palette. It was a collaboration, but now it's like permanent. So it has like all the colors, like all the colors to goldens, to silvers, to blues, to purples, to everything. You can create a look with every outfit with this palette. And I think it's like such a, such a versatile palette. Every girl should own this, especially bride to be because you have to do a lot of makeup after wedding. You have to go to another wedding and you have to go to dinners and whatnot. And I think this is a perfect palette to give that glam look look to your outfit to your makeup to your everything so don't think twice just get your hands you won't regret buying this one seriously okay, so the last part is your lipsticks and i will be recommending lipsticks that i really think is very essential especially the shades baki the company the texture the finish is up to you that what you guys like more so a red lipstick is like classic classic thing in everyone's vanity i think and so this is from L'Oreal I recently bought this it's in the shade I'm worth it and this is totally worth it this is the swatch of I'm worth it and you should definitely get your hands on this one then a pink shade a magenta -ish pink shade is a must again so I have this Lakme 9 to 5 in the shade pink blush I love the formula there is nothing that I hate about this lipstick this formula and this is how the pink blush looks like I will be giving like a quick swatches then I have the NYX suede lipstick in the shade soft spoken this is like the perfect perfect nude shade that everyone should have and every girl should have this is how the nude shade looks like it's super pretty it's super natural for all the daily days then a classic MAC Meher is like a must again I think it should be in every girl's vanity and it's like a pinky nude basically and this last one is Meher and it's like a classic classic shade you should definitely have this in your vanity then again a pink that I swear by and a little different pink it's the lip crayon a pink on fleek from Nykaa Cosmetics love it love it love it you can see how gorgeous this one is and then I have like again a brownie brownie nude um, it's in the shade basic it's from their Nykaa demi matte range and I recently bought this and I really think the finish, the formula is superbly great. This is how it looks like. So pretty, right? And a gloss. I would highly recommend you to have like a clear gloss. Maybe a plump me up one just to do better for you. Because uh, it just have a tingling effect and it literally it's like extreme a lip plumper. It just plumps up your lips and that looks pretty good. And then I have this Fenty gloss form. It's like a nude gloss basically and i've been loving this one lately this is how the swatch of the gloss bombs look like so gorgeous love this one like i have the travel size one but i am now regretting it like i should definitely buy a full size one because this one is super gorgeous and super pretty okay so yeah that was that for all the stuff that you should definitely have in your makeup kit for especially brides to be so 
yeah i hope i have made your work easier and you can now decide that what things to buy for your chuzo makeup kit so yeah please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and please don't forget to follow me on my instagram because i share some really different content over there so yeah thank you so much for watching hope to see you in my next one bye bye Mwah.